morning, friends, and welcome back. I was just on the phone for over two hours trying to repair iMovie. Oh my God, there is not too much that's more frustrating than that. So I wanted to show you how I took this messy cabinet and turned it into this by using a Goodwill find that I decoupage. So let me show you how I did this. So this is the item that I found at Goodwill, kind of funny looking to me. <laughs> and I know that I need to remove a couple of labels and of course I'm going to chalk paint it and decoupage it. But I'm going to use the dry iron-on method and there are a couple of things I really need to stress when you're doing this project. Now here's how this looked when I was all done with it. People write to me and say, here's what's wrong, here's what happened, here's what didn't go right. Now I wrote my ebook successful decoupage every time and guys I really can't answer all of the questions once in a while I'll try to get on and answer a specific question that you have but I really can't do that anymore which is why I wrote the book well, I decided to use this and I think this is normally used for folders and paper and what I did by the way you could tell this is a goodwill find was I scraped off not only the labels but if there was anything tacky or sticky left down there I scraped that off you can also use warm soapy water and baking soda to get that stickiness off of there even though I did throw a couple of things away in this shot all of the lids are neatly organized and in this one they're kind of all over which is causing a little bit of chaos. I took the Americana chalky finish paint and I covered the whole surface with two coats of this. Normally it would only be one coat but that squirrel was kind of standing out and so I didn't want that to show at all through my napkin. So I'm just going to coat this with two layers of this chalk paint and let it dry. And once it was dry, I made sure that I had my supplies ready. So I had the Americana napkin decoupage glue, my bristle brush. It really helps to use a bristle brush, not a sponge brush. And you also want to make sure you have your parchment paper ready, a large enough piece to cover the whole surface that you're working on. And your iron. Your iron will be safe as long as you have the parchment paper. So even though this project is quite simple, if you don't follow the instructions exactly this way, I have found that I get a lot of questions with the exact same problems. One will be that someone says to me that they had bubbles in their napkin, that they had tears in the napkin, or that there were wrinkles. So here is how you prevent that from happening, any one of those problems. Make sure you have a thick but even coating of decoupage glue over this surface. You can see how I'm putting a pretty heavy coat on and I'm going over it and over it. And I'm focusing on the edges. You wanna make sure you have your edges thoroughly covered. So it's really important, the very first thing is you wanna make sure you're adding a thick enough coat of decoupage glue. You wanna make sure, now I'm using napkin decoupage glue. A lot of people write to me because they're using this one decoupage glue that's been on the market for probably the first decoupage glue ever. It is thick, it is gooey, it causes stickiness, tearing, uh, wrinkles it causes a whole lot of problems so I always always recommend that you use the Americana napkin decoupage glue for this it allows you to give just the right amount of coverage so make sure you apply a thick enough coat and make sure you cover all the edges because it's easy to kind of skip over those. Now I covered the whole surface, the sides, the front and the back, and now that everything is dry, whoops, <laughs> I didn't mean to throw that over there, I am going to separate this napkin. This is a nice, 
tall, large napkin with a beautiful print on it. And I'm going to iron this over the surface. Now, I spent so much time on the phone with uh, iMovie today, to their credit, that I'm going to have to put the rest of this music uh, this video to music because my husband is coming home and then the dogs go crazy and there's phone calls and busyness so i have to mute the sounds of the house you want to separate i'm going to talk as much as i can until he gets home though you want to separate the napkin so that you're only left with the top ply of it and then we're going to iron it down over the surface but you want to make sure you put your parchment paper down and I have my iron set to the hottest setting and I don't have any steam option on here I mean there's no water in there and I don't have the steam option turned on and what I'm going to do is iron the napkin onto this surface and without any any editing done to this clip I wanted to show you here is how slow I am ironing over this surface. This isn't something you want to rush. You need to move the iron slowly and thoroughly over your surface, making sure that parchment paper, because the parchment paper can move around a lot, just make sure that it is always under your iron. If you don't use the parchment paper, uh, two things can happen. You can burn your napkin, which I've done before and had to start all over, or you can also get brown spots on your iron. We keep one iron for the clothes and it's a very good iron. And this one is just the iron that I use for my crafts. I think it was $10 in one of those five or ten dollar stores so I'm going to finish ironing this on here and make sure you're only working on one side at a time here but you pull the parchment paper away and here's what you're left with and you can see there are no wrinkles and now I'm going to take my nail file and file away these excess edges and make sure you only go in one direction when you're filing because if you file it in both directions you can actually remove the decoupage glue and then your napkin will come up and you'll have problems so go in that direction downward only okay friends I'm sorry my husband just texted me that he's on his way home which means the dogs are going to get a little loud in a minute and I'm going to put the video to music and I'll add a few subtitles where I need to don't forget successful decoupage every time is my ebook and I will have the link down below. You can turn your iPhone, your iPad, or your smart device into a Kindle for free and download the book. It is $4.99 and it will help you with a whole bunch of your projects. Thank you if you've already purchased the book and thank you for subscribing. And I really can't get back to all of the questions that I get, which is why I wrote the ebook. So please head on over to Amazon. Amazon using that link below when you have questions about decoupage. I try to be as specific as possible in the video so that you don't have very many questions about the videos. As always, I will have product links down below so you can just click on those. When you're over at the site going through my links to purchase whatever I've recommended or suggested, you can continue to do all of your shopping while you're there. I still get a little bit of credit from Amazon for that. So thank you so much for going through my links below. That's a help to me also. So I will continue on with the rest of the video, my friends. It's pretty easy to follow and I should see you next week with another video if I don't have any problems with my computer or the weather. There's always something, right? <laughs> okay, guys, have fun.